This video contains harsh language, specifically English. Warning, the following video contains opinions, <gasps> and they could even be contrary to yours. <gasps> Please remember that even in the heat of the moment, it's about opinion. If you watch the whole video and you still don't agree with me, well, feel free to sound off in the comments, just don't be a dick about it. There's a rule on YouTube that if you're going to copyright content ID claim a piece of music and it was originally composed for a video game, you have to be the publisher of the video game in order to do this. So if you're the composer of the piece of music and you're going through a third party um, rights management group or you uploaded your music to a record label online, if your music was originally made for a video game and was originally designed for that game's soundtrack, it has to be the game's publisher that claims it on your behalf. That's the rule. That's how it goes, which is what really bothers me about my current situation. Now, I recently played Alice Mad... not Alice Madness Returns. American McGee's Alice, right? The original American McGee's Alice. And I received content ID issues with that from a company called In Grooves. Now, In Grooves is a rights management company that uh, you come to this company with your material and you say, please protect my material online. And so they're a third party rights management company. So they were protecting this particular this particular game soundtrack, they were protecting it. Who were they protecting it on behalf of? Six Degrees Records. So, um, American McGee's Alice, the soundtrack composed by Chris Vrenner, was uploaded to Six Degrees Records, and then it was pumped through in Groove's music group protection. So we've got three layers of horseshit going on here. Chris Vrenner, Six Degrees Records in Grooves Music Group. Now, the only person who should be able to content ID claim this soundtrack is Electronic Arts because they are the owner of American McGee's Alice. They are the publisher of American McGee's Alice. So it's only Electronic Arts that should be able to make a content ID claim based on the game's soundtrack. I touted this very important fact and my claims were disputed and still stand. Now if I were to appeal those claims I would get a copyright strike and I would lose my ability to stream, to post videos more than 11 minutes in length, uh, to advertise on my videos perhaps. Um, I would definitely lose a lot of privileges because YouTube would naturally think that I'm the bad guy in this situation. So I caved in and I removed the song using YouTube's song removal feature. So my American McGee's Alice stream, the part one, is probably butchered to listen to now. Probably sounds like complete shit. What I don't get is that the rules are really simple. If the soundtrack was composed for the game itself, then the only person who can content ID that video is the company that published the game. So if my claim said Chris Vrenner uh, waltzing through Wonderland's shit heap claimed by Electronic Arts, then that would be fine. I wouldn't have any complaint. I'd be like, okay, fair enough. But it's the fact that some third party company has made my VOD practically unwatchable now. And that's what the issue is. So I'm calling you out, Six Degrees Records and In Grooves. I'm calling you both out, especially you In Grooves, because you didn't follow YouTube procedure on this one. You are not the publisher of American McGee's Alice. You don't have the right to do that. But also you, Six Degrees Records, and Chris Renner, because I'm assuming that you uploaded your soundtrack to Six Degrees Records so people could download it and purchase it, right? So, Chris Renner, you probably shouldn't go to a website like this to protect your intellectual property. 
yeah, if, if, you, if you're against fair use, then go ahead, use services like this. I think Six Degrees Records, you need to rethink which rights management companies that you work with, because you're working with someone extremely hollow and soulless in, in groups. Um, quite frankly, this shouldn't have happened. My claim should have been removed. I shouldn't have have to have removed each song using YouTube song removal tool. I shouldn't have have to have done that. It's the game soundtrack composed for the game, therefore it can only be claimed by the, pub by the publisher of the game. Remember this, everybody. It can only be claimed by the publisher. This situation with Six Degrees and Ingrooves is shit and I'm calling these two companies out but am I that bothered that I'm gonna re-upload the VOD and fight this no no fine my VOD is gonna sound like complete shit and in the future when Ingroove's music group um, falls down because they're a worthless piece of shit company that doesn't care about fair use and kindness uh, that's when I'll re-upload my VOD with big massive um, middle fingers pointing up and shaking and wobbling on screen um, yeah I've said all I really want to do on this like follow goddamn procedure follow goddamn rules if you're the game publisher only you can content ID claim a game's music if you are anybody else a third party ad revenue rights handler no you can't you can't do it you have to be the game's publisher to claim a game soundtrack if that soundtrack was composed specifically for that game so in grooves six degrees records chris Vrenner, i'm shaming all of you i'm shaming you <laughs>